Vaccines are obviously one way to avoid getting sick. Here's a question about one specific vaccine that many of you may not know about. Take a look. Hi, doctors. I have a question. Once I get the pneumonia vaccine, does it last forever? Or do I have to take it every year like the flu vaccine? Well, it's not every year like the flu vaccine. Adults who are 65 or older, they actually only need to be vaccinated once in their lifetime unless they're at high risk for infection. Now, if you're at high risk of infection and if you were vaccinated before the age of 65, you may need to be revaccinated five years after that first dose. So here's the reality. If you get a pneumonia, despite being vaccinated, there are a lot of different treatments out there. And a lot of people don't really understand what is pneumonia? I want to pull up some x-rays back here on the IMAX if I could. I'm going to walk back here and just show everyone really quickly what we're looking at. So if, if we could, can we pull up the normal x-ray? I want to show everyone the normal x-ray first. So these dark areas, these are the lung fields, okay? In the middle here, the white silhouette, that's the heart. These are nice, it's nice and black in here. I can see subtle lung markings. That is a normal chest x-ray. If I'm worried that you have pneumonia, you come to the ER, fever, productive cough, not getting better, weakness, fatigue, I'll order a chest x-ray and it may look like this. There are subtle clues. If you look at this from afar, you'll notice this haziness right here in the right lower lobe of this lung. Over here on the left side, this is the diaphragm. It's nice and clear. The borders of the heart are clear. But I'm looking over here and everything is obscured. What's happening in here? What causes a pneumonia? First off, it's the infection often bacterial, but it can, it can also be viral or fungal. Then the inflammatory cascade occurs. So what you're seeing in there is actually the, the airway gets filled with fluid, inflammation, white blood cells. And that's why people can have difficulty breathing because sometimes pneumonia can just spread and spread. Treatment, it depends on. Is it a community acquired pneumonia? Are you otherwise healthy? Was it acquired in a hospital? Because the bacteria that cause pneumonia, it can be different. And so we'll tailor your antibiotic regimen to what we suspect you may have. Sometimes we'll have you do an expectorant. But in the end, the key is we'll start you on an antibiotic, see if you're getting better. Usually, most pneumonias resolve without complication mm -hmm. if you get someone on the right antibiotics. Yeah. That's why if a cold lasts for weeks and then you develop fevers, worsening shortness of breath, worsening cough, Every now and then, a cold can turn into pneumonia. Go see your doc. Yeah, you know, sometimes we'll do with kids is if I hear a pneumonia and they're not that sick, I'm not going to put them in the hospital, I'll put them on antibiotics, and I tell the parents to do what's called chest physical therapy, and I have them use their hand. And in the hospital, they use a certain machine, but basically a cupped hand, and you just clap on the back, and what that does is kind of loosen all those secretions and helps the child cough <coughs> them out. And that's because that's one of the keys of pneumonia. I think I coughed up a lung. <laughs> is to get that stuff out. It's very you true. Know?